That's right. I, 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 I offered for you to go first. The premise of this comp, and, and, and you can't interrupt. Just to be clear. Say it again. You can't sure interrupt. Your mic's you, cutting out. Am I still cutting out? No, you can't. Sure. And what I'm saying is you can't interrupt another person speaking. I won't. I'm quiet. Um, Ready for my time? Ready, ready to go? Well, yes, sir. Time starts now. Okay. Um, what we're comparing is, is the Black Holocaust or the atrocities that were committed against black people in North America um, after the transatlantic slave trade and during the transatlantic slave trade versus the Holocaust. Um, human life is human life, and so no life is more valuable than another. So the Holocaust is an atrocity. So is the um, what happened with black people in America. Um, the Holocaust, when you look at it, they'll say it's like 10 years, 12 years. But the thing is, is that the Holocaust, what they consume in the Holocaust are things where Jewish people were not allowed to, um, to join the army. That's considered part of the Holocaust. As far as the atrocities and things that were done to, to Jewish people negatively, as far as physically, as far as concentration camps, getting killed, the shooting squads, this actually only happened over a three-year period. Now, I'm not making light of that because a lot of people were killed during that three-year period, but this was only a three-year period when concentration traps were open and when these individuals were getting killed. After that three years, the world banded together to stop that atrocity from happening. There were, um, there were uh, camps being liberated, and then the following year, they had the Nuremberg trials where individuals who committed these atrocities were held to justice. And so that's the series of events with the Jewish individuals. As far as the black Holocaust in America, it wasn't a situation where other countries got together and said, this is an atrocity. We're going to stop this. When this started, other other countries got together and said, we're going to join in and profit off of this. And they raped children. They raped grown men. They, they took pregnant women and cut their stomachs out of their belly. When a baby fell on the ground, they stumped the baby's head. This went on for hundreds of years, and then it transitioned to another form called Jim Crow. Now, these are just historical references. So what we're really comparing here is this. Can three years compare to several hundred years? To say that three years, compa three years of atrocities compare with a hundred years of atrocities is a silly thing. It's a silly premise. Now, the argument is going to be made that you're going to hear here today is they tried to annihilate them as a group but they were not successful because the rest of the world got together and said, this is not acceptable. You have your traditions, you have your language, you have your religion, you have everything that you had before. Black people in America cannot say that. We do not have our language. We do not have our religion. We do not have anything that we, we were, our history was erased. So 15 seconds. The, the argument is this, would you rather have be tortured for a hundred years or get a quick death and still maintain your dignity and your identity and then get reparations in the whole world to fight for you after. Time. I'll give, I'll give that a clap at least. I mean, if somebody's going to give them a clap. It's your turn, sir. It's your turn, sir. All right. Did, let me, let me, uh, you got to do the theatrics. Uh, just let me know. Okay. Is Number two, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, and go. So, Black Holocaust versus the Jewish Holocaust, and almost like, almost parroting what Detroit was saying, I do want to say that every atrocity is an atrocity. It doesn't matter the, the scope or the magnitude. A human life is human life, and there is dignity within that, and that's going to be very important to later on into this conversation. And you see... I, I, the thing for us to understand about the Holocaust in terms of what happened in whether it was the 12 years of Nazi Germany or whether, as Detroit says, that it's three years of the actual concentration camps, it's not all of a sudden that Europe woke up one day and decided to hate all the Jews and decide to exterminate them. This is this is the, the, the climax, the byproduct of over centuries upon centuries of Jewish persecution that has been happening in Europe, whether it was through the Crusades, the blood libels, whether it was through the Inquisition, where Jews were being burnt at the stake, not allowed to have their religion being forced to convert, not to mention all of the series of pogroms that were happening in Eastern Europe at that time. I mean, just
just to give you some context, the pogroms uh, from the 19th to 20th century, it was over a thousand separate pogroms. Just one of them from 1919 to 1921 had 100,000 Jews die. And the reason why I'm just giving you this context in terms of the oppression that the Jews had to have faced in Europe for almost a thousand years, marginalized, not allowed to have any sort of um, a, a land, any sort of property, any sort of positions in office, is because this was the buildup to the final thing in terms of what happened of the Holocaust. Now, the Black Atlantic, the, the transatlantic slave trade absolutely is an atrocity. The, 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 the sheer stripping of dignity of human rights and treating human beings as less than, as cattle, and having them be have slave labor in terms of killing them, lynching them, burning them at the stake, absolutely is horrible. And we should remember that, and we should always look back in history to remind ourselves how low can humans go in terms of what we can do to one another. But Auschwitz also stands today as a reminder of that we can even go lower than that. Yes, I know Detroit likes to put things into small magnitude context in the sense of, well, this only happened for three years and you know, the Black Atlantic State Trade happened for multiple years, 400 years. But let's take the numbers for a sec. If you were to take 400 years, almost estimated 10 to 15 million blacks were stripped out of their homeland and brought to the Americas, out of which almost 2 million died within a 400 year period. 6 million Jews, and I'm not even gonna take the three number, I'm gonna take the 12 years in terms of what uh, of, uh, the amount of Jews that actually died uh, in the Holocaust, in, in the concentration camps, if you actually take the numbers, if you were to average out 2 million blacks that died in the transatlantic slave trade, that averages out to about 5,000 blacks that died per year, which is, more, which is 5,000 more than enough. But it, for the Jews, it was 500,000 a year for a 12-year period. But if it's only a three-year period, that means two rate of death 15 of seconds. the Jews was 2 million in a matter of three years, which is atrocious. And so to, to wrap this up, yes, and I'm, I'm arguing treachery in terms of having a, a whole group of people exterminated within a big amount of time, time. where one third is gone. Versus, okay. Okay. Let, 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 let me know you're ready to start. Let me know you're ready to start. Uh, I'm good, man. Go ahead. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, DMC, you're the first. Okay. <laughs> Now, is this rebuttal? Yes, yeah. Yes. And how long? Three minutes. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Whenever you tell me. Okay, three minute rebuttal starts now. Okay, so once again, the debate is about the Black Holocaust and the Jewish Holocaust. The Jewish Holocaust is a 10-year period during World War II. Within that 10-year period, the concentration camps and all the murders were in a three-year period. Other things that happened negatively towards Jews are included in the Holocaust, but the concentration camps didn't happen until 1941, and they were being liberated by 1944. The, the, uh, the war was over in 1945, and there were Nuremberg trials in, in 1946. The entire world came together to say this is incorrect. In the case of black people, the entire world came together and said, I want to take advantage of this also. The traditions, I'm just reiterating, the traditions, the religions, and all these things of these individuals are intact. I can't go back further than five generations. He can still trace his bloodline back to fucking Jerusalem because he still maintained his identity. He is trying to extrapolate the Holocaust to over a thousand year period because he recognizes that three years does not, com does not compare to 300 years. If you think it does, that means that you think that those other individuals are not on a level of humanity as you because there's no way you can compare three years with 300 years. What I'm saying is that these individuals previous to World War II were the most financially sound in Germany. That's why Hitler was able to turn the population against that minority because they were doing financially well when other, when other people weren't. They were, they were able to be part of the, the military and the armed forces. And so to make it seem like they were being persecuted severely, not like Jim Crow, where you couldn't look a white man in the eye without getting hung and set on fire, not like Jim Crow, where they had actual laughing buckets to where if something was funny, you're supposed to put your head in a bucket to where you don't disturb a white man. 
they built overpasses in, in, in Germany so that you, you wouldn't interact with other people. And that was during the war. We had to get off the street when a little kid didn't even say nothing to a child and he was dragged behind a truck. Y'all didn't have those atrocities in, in, in Europe previous to World War II. You guys was making money, being comfortable, able to be part of the services. When World War II happened, some bullshit happened. But there is no way you can compare three years to 300 years. You are going outside of the argument in order to try to extrapolate a 10-year period into a 1,000-year period. You are misrepresenting history to make it seem like you were persecuted in Europe when you guys were the most financially sound in that country. Time. Okay, three-minute rebuttal. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready, DMZ. Go. So Detroit is trying to say that the Jews were financially stable in Europe at that time. So just to put a little bit of context, because you're bringing up Germany, the population of Jews in Europe at the time was 9.8 million. The population of Jews in Germany was 500,000. Now, that doesn't mean that all 500,000 Jews were being, uh, were being rich and successful. Where was the majority of the concentration of the population of Jews in Europe at the time? That was in Eastern Europe, when they were under communism and under the, the, the boot of the Russian Tsars, where there, were, there was massive pogroms. They were sent to gulags and, and camps, labor camps in Siberia in negative 30 degree weathers, being forced to work in a coal mine, being literally killed on a spot if, if they just disobeyed any sort of orders. As a matter of fact, the majority of Jews in Eastern Europe had a hard time preserving their heritage, had a hard time even practicing their religion, because if you were found practicing a religion, you were sent straight to Siberia. Synagogues were destroyed. <laughs> Villages were, per were, were, were completely dismantled. And when, when Detroit wants to talk about the Black Holocaust, I want to know exactly what do you mean by the Black Holocaust? Because once again, let's look at the death rates. 5,000 blacks were killed per year over a 400-year period in, in, uh, in, in the transatlantic slave trade. But hold on, he does bring up the black the blacks in America, which out of 10 to 50 million that came to the Americas, only 388,000 actually landed in America itself. All the other ones went to either Central America or South America. Not to discredit or deny that, but that's an important factor, which means that it's only a smaller section in terms of what he's talking about. So are we talking about the bigger, broad one, or are we just talking about the smaller one? Also, on top of that as well, it's like we're talking about the Black Holocaust, 5,000 blacks that were killed per year, 10,000 blacks are killed by homicide every single year 80 to 99 80 to 90 percent of them are black on black or 40 million black baby black babies that have been aborted since 1970s up until today so what's really the real black holocaust that, that is going on right 5,000 per year or 10,000 are getting shot 80 to 90 percent of them by by other blacks and by the way the, look it up with the doj i mean that's, that's that's the sort that i'm citing in terms of homicide rates in america so once again detroit i mean to kind of conflate that Somehow the the atrocities that yes it, it wasn't in a smaller period but the concentration of the atrocity the concentration of the dehumanization you know it's one thing to treat someone like a piece of cattle it's another thing to treat them like a piece of vermin to say that no not only are you uh, not pure not only are you less than but you don't even deserve to exist. Today, there are 15 million Jews. Pre-Holocaust, it was 18 million. Six million Jews were died. I imagine one third of blacks were completely just exterminated, wiped out, gone from the face of the earth. I'm not trying to play the oppression Olympics. Because a, part of, a part of me actually wants Detroit to win just so he can get the gold medal and stand back and see that he won the oppression Olympics and really ask himself, what did I really even achieve here today? Thank you. I can see my q and I, I, I just want another round. Time. I ain't, I ain't gonna ask this man no questions. Let me know when I can start. You get the same option also, Nathan. Uh, another rebuttal period, sure. No, I'm saying you can do a Q and A. You can do, it's your time, so you can do a Q and A if you choose. But I, that's okay. I don't want to ask you. I don't want to ask you any questions. What, what, when you mean by Q and A, it means that you can ask me questions. I can like ask a cross you questions. like a cross examination. But I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, dude, anything no, no, you. I'm I'm yielding that. Let me let me know when I can start. Can you clarify what you mean by yielding, just so we're clear? I'm not going to ask you questions. I'm just going to I'm going to continue with my argument. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. You there, DMC? We just waiting to see if he's going to do the question part. Did he glitch out? No, I stepped away. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My turn my button the other way. How long is the Q and A section? I'm I'm conceding my Q and A. I'm I'm just gonna do another round in three minutes. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do another. But how long was it? Is it? Are they two minutes? Three minutes. It's it's, it's three three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, so it's gonna Q and A is also three. Well, it's your it's 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 still your three minutes. If you want to use it for a Q and A, you can. If not, you know what I'm saying he got the same option. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got the option Q and A or uh, continue your argument. Ask you questions or he can make statements. Exactly. You choosing to make statements. Yes, sir. All right, three minutes. And go. Okay. Um, There's a difference in what happened after the atrocities of the Jewish people. Um, They they were given a country. Um, They stole land from a group of individuals who had been there for generations, and they were just given a country without that country's, without the individuals who lived there's input. Um... They were given reparations. They were given the tools needed in order to rebuild their society and rebuild what they needed to be in this world. Um, In America, 2% of the slave trade landed in America, but the part that he doesn't know or understand or maybe just doesn't care about is that they actually had breeding plantations. And so the population of the South was more black people than it was white people because they had plantations where the women had to be pregnant every nine months as a way of labor. White men, white slave owners, raped their women in order to make more slaves. And so the thing is, is that, yeah, it is true that black people had a, um, probably probably lived as long as the white folks that, that owned them. But an entire existence where you've never breathed a free, a free breath of air, your entire existence is, for the profit of another individual to be totally under control from another individual. I prefer a quick death. I prefer an opportunity to fight and just die instead of being born a slave and dying a slave. Now the gentleman wants to bring up black on black crime. Um, crime is a product of finances. Um, I believe saw something the other day where they said no neighborhood where people got a 700, 800 credit score. Are you going to see a lot of crime? The reason why you see so crime is not a black thing like it's inherent in our genes. It's a it's a socioeconomic problem. And this things occurred because after slavery, after a seven year hiatus, there was another hundred years of Jim Crow, which was worse than the treatment that Jews went through previous to the last three years of World War Two. And so we had a hundred years of worse treatment and then we were owned by other people. So we're talking about 400 years here. I'm sorry, man. I know there's a saying by some famous Jew guy that a Palestinian, 10,000 Palestinian lives isn't worth a life, isn't worth a fingernail on on one Jew. But unfortunately, everybody doesn't agree with the Jewish supremacy. And so I'm sorry that you guys had a rough three years, but we had a rough 400. And so 400 years of ownership and disenfranchisement may result in some psychology and some activities that may be negative. But and since 1967, when our civil rights were granted and we're, we were treated as equal citizens on paper, in that short amount of time, got a black president, black first lady, time. black billionaires. All right, okay, DMC, now you have your three minutes. Are you going to use it as Q and A or? I'll do the talk? same format as Detroit right now. I'll just give him a response. Okay, and go. So, you know, once again, I know I know Detroit is trying to just marginalize the entire Jewish oppression and Jewish experience in Europe just down to three years, but that is absolutely false. As if it was all hunky dory prior to the Holocaust or prior to World War II. As a matter of fact, before any war even broke out, just just in the context of Nazi Germany, 1933 is when all the were not allowed to own businesses. They were not allowed to be in politics. They were not allowed to even be in any part of regular society with with the rest of Germany. But that's just in Germany. If if you want to take a look at the span of the Jewish experience in Europe for over a thousand years, look up the Crusades. Look up the Inquisition. Look about the the expo- the expulsion from France, yeah, from England, from from France, from England, from Spain, 
look at all the countless pogroms, the gulags. Look at all of the things that were done, chopped up at the sword if they weren't converted into Catholicism. This, the reason why I keep bringing this up and it's important to understand is that that event that, that Detroit likes to just marginalize to three years didn't happen in a vacuum. As a matter of fact, it was the exclamation point of thousands of years of anti-Semitism and Jewish persecution that's been brewing up in Europe at that time. Not to mention all of the literature that was that was published by Martin Luther King, by John Calvin, by uh, the, the Protocols of the of the Elders of Zion, and not to mention the, the Berlin bestseller Mein Kampf, talking about how the Jews are vermin, are a parasite, how, how they are satanic, they are the Christ killers, they are the capitalists, they are the communists, any sort of marginalization that you want. Somehow that we're it's in genetically inferior, but at the same time we're the, somehow the shadowy elites that are pulling the strings behind everything. Anything that you want to blame, put it on to the Jews, and that has been the Jewish experience for the longest time. Now, I'm not going to touch too much on the Palestine because I don't want to go completely off topic, but what Detroit said was geopolitically incorrect, that somehow we stole somebody else's country. My friend, Zionism was going on way longer than any Holocaust or the Second World War was ever initiated. So, so somehow to chalk it up that, that the Jews were just given a state just after the Holocaust, be, that, and that was the only thing that happened, you're, you're, you're missing a lot of meat and potatoes in the entire conversation. But then he also likes to say, well, the Jewish experience, they were, well, they were doing good. Weren't they rich? Didn't they have businesses? That means that they're not an oppressed class. Well, with that same logic, I would say the same thing about the blacks in the early 20th century, which was Black Wall Street. You had a prosperity. You had a, a boom and flourish of black prosperity in the early 20th century. As a matter of fact, America's first m woman fe female millionaire was a black lady. And I champion that. I champion that because you know what? At the end of the day, I, I want to celebrate black excellence. I want to celebrate black triumph and black perseverance. And what ended up happening? What happened to Black Wall Street? A bunch of white supremacists came and destroyed the whole thing. Sounds a little bit familiar, does it? Doesn't it? And that's exactly what happened to the Jews in Germany at that time. And so I just want to wrap it up in, in the sense where, and I'll say it on the, on the other point, man, I don't even like having these discussions because human life is human life and atrocities are atrocities. What we need to do is be able to acknowledge the humanity and other people, acknowledge what people are going through, and take the valuable lessons. Right. That way we can make a better world. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Well, the argument's been made. If you guys have any questions, stand behind the person that you want to ask the question to. We get through the questions, then we vote. So how does it go? They, they make a line behind us or what's up? That's, that's correct. All right, man. Ooh, they all got questions for you. Nobody got questions for Detroit. And, and by the way, may, may I say something really quick? I mean, I'm Detroit. Just to Detroit. Just to Detroit, bro. I actually appreciate you being civil and respectful this time around, bro. And I want to say that I acknowledge Hey, that. man. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. No, no. That's, that's some undercutting shit. And, and ain't nobody stupid enough not to recognize it, man. Like, let's just go through the debate the way we're going through the debate, sure. man. We're trying to add sure. shit. No, I, I just want to acknowledge that, dude. Because it's genuine. All right. Since I'm timekeeper, I, I, I have to stay out of the question. Do uh, you want to let Detroit, I guess, go first because he was the next in turn? Only got, only got one question, so. What you got, Mop? Uh, okay. I just thought you might find it funny that I was standing behind you after our history tonight. But anyway. I um, like, don't mean you support me. You're just what? asking a question. Just right, I know that. I'm I'm not. I'm not taking sides on this no, no, issue. No, no, I mean, no. I'm just uh, making it clear for the for the room. That's all. I don't want to buy. Okay, go ahead. I just want to make sure everybody knows it's fair. So, what uh, what what is your take on Nathan's argument that uh, Jewish persecution goes back maybe as far as Roman times or whenever? Um, it seems like you 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 disregard that. Um, suffering or you, or you minimize it or do you in other words how much credence do you give that argument that Jewish suffering goes back eat more a thousand years or more okay um, I'll make it short it's possible we talk, we're talking we're covering a lot of history like with that type of question the Jewish people were never a, a large population of people and they were in a region that was overtaken by a lot of different people, the Greeks, the Romans, the Persians. They all took over that part, and they were living in that area. And so they were under, they were, they were a minority class under all those different rules because they never had an army. They never had a big enough nation to be able to compete with the individuals around them. And so, okay, fine, that's, that, 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 that's a negative thing, and, and I'm not going to discount that. But if we want to, this debate specifically is about Black Holocaust, and we're referring to the transatlantic slave trade in North America for black Americans, and the Jewish Holocaust, which is a 10-year period during World War II. And so to extrapolate back a 1,000 years to biblical times, 
fine if you want to add that, but we can do the same. Because previous to the transatlantic slave trade, there was a sub-Saharan slave trade that lasted for a thousand years, and, and that was by the Arabs. And that's where um, black Africans' uh, balls were cut off and they were made eunuchs. They were, they were forced to travel across the Sahara Desert on foot, where a large population of individuals died on a regular basis making that trek. And so if we want to extrapolate back, I'm sorry, we still were treated worse or, or worse things happened to Africans than they did to, to Jewish people. And so if we extrapolated, it actually makes my argument stronger. And the thing is also, he wanted to go into like Russia and what happened in Eastern Europe. That is not the Jewish Holocaust. The, if you go on Google and look up the Jewish Holocaust, it's going to be a 10 year period during World War II. I'm sticking to the debate topic. He's providing smoke and mirrors to try to muddy the situation in order to try to technically or pull out some kind of weird win. That's my response. I'm sticking to the topic. That's okay. the, that's the short answer. Kimberly, were you um, next on line? Yes, I wanted to ask Nathan X a uh, question. Uh, by the way, yeah, be, before we get to that, there's no time on this, right? Uh, just to uh, ask and answer, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how we could put a time you, on you, you, Well, what the thing is, like, you moderating, you, you're not voting, and you ain't answer questions, and so it's your decision on when it's going too long, because so everybody can get through the questions so we can get to the vote. Okay. Sure, right. we're forgetting right. off topic. So I'm, usually, I'm, I'm gonna give, usually I do it, but you know what I'm saying, like, you're the guy. I'm, I'm going to give up to, uh... Just, 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 just enough opportunity... to ask, and one minute for a response. Well... Yeah, but but give a person an opportunity got, to answer the question person, fully and finish got, their thought. Got a line behind That's what I'm saying. So yeah. Yeah. So you got 30 seconds to ask your question. He he can take a minute to respond. Who's going first, Stephanie? You going first? Yeah, yes, Nathan. Yes, I want to uh, ask a question. Being Jewish is that a race or a religion? Uh, it's an ethno religion, right? So yes, it's it's categorized as a race, but it's also a a, a religion as well because technically it's the descendant of abraham isaac and jacob so it's just it's whoever came from that family um now that doesn't mean that it's a it's necessarily a pure blood thing i mean anyone can convert to judaism but it's more of a nation more than anything else right when you convert not only are you following religion but you're joining a people and a nation okay. that it? are you all set forever um nathan i, I just wanted to I just wanted to ask that you had mentioned um, Black Wall Street, right? Yes, yes. Now, were the Jews able to prosper? Because um, do you think that uh, we were able to prosper because Black Wall Street was, you know, decimated? Weren't you able to, wasn't your race able to continue on? Are you saying and after prosper? the Holocaust? Was... That, no, I'm talking about, right, is weren't you able to build up wealth afterwards yes absolutely because there comes a point when you have to overcome you know no matter what i mean um oppression is oppression and sometimes life is really really not fair uh depending on who you are and where you are and things like that i mean we all get dealt a particular hand at in life and we have to make the most of it so yes i mean yeah after the holocaust the jews begin to flourish in america's and other places Yes, absolutely. I, the reason why I brought up Black Wall Street specifically, and I champion that a lot, is because it, that happened during the Jim Crow era, right? So I mean, it's not like it was all hunky-dory and easy. I wanted to champion that because even in spite of oppression, even in spite of the things that are going on, the black community was able to prove that they don't have to be at the effect, but rather can be at the cause of their life and actually bring their communities together with strong family values, with strong you know, connectedness with one another, a very family unit, and start to build instead of trying to destroy. Um, not saying that blacks are destroying, what I'm saying is that using that type of a model, it just shows that wealth and prosperity can flourish, even if uh, the, the circumstances outside are not as favorable. favorable. But what happens once we start oh. to flourish? I'm sorry, I'm throwing in another. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta moderate DMC. I'm I don't sorry, mind answering, I'll, but I'll, is, is it? Oh, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like DMC, it's on DMC. I'm just saying, but he got yeah, it. Like, no, are no. you on your mic? That was on. Wait, I, oh, I didn't call time. You didn't hear it? No, oh, okay. No. I'll, I'll, no. I'll step right, aside. I'll step aside because it was a two part. Yeah, well, he pretty way, much time. finished. If, for him, if you want to, if you want, I, I don't mind having a conversation with you afterwards if you really want to. I don't want to leave you I'm okay. Yeah. 
No, no, you. That was fine. You you did it no. in a minute. She she asked her question. All right. Um. You finished right at the Stephanie, are it's you perfect. still uh, a question? Are you still in line? Or is it, uh, no, yeah, there more questions. Asked, it's him turning mine. Yeah, Stephanie, if you don't mind, if you can just uh, thank you, thank you so much. I'm trying to get my Okay, Sophie, what's up? I'm not trying to get him. No, it's a forever first. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. forever? Okay, what's up, bro? Mm -hmm. So, um, the debate, right, was pertaining to the 400 years or 246 years or how, whatever the time frame was of the Black American Holocaust compared to 1933 to 1945. Uh, somehow, somehow, the debate being about that time frame you managed to go backwards over a thousand years and forward at least 200 years to the present right so sure. i wanted i wanted to know what did the time frames outside of 1933 to 1945 have to do with your debate down to black on black crime yeah, thank you very much, Forever. So to answer the first point of your question, um, I didn't want to get too hung up on the cast. I wanted to stay within topic of 1933 to 1945. But the only reason why I just brought that is to provide the context of how 1933 to 1945 even came about. That that, that singular event didn't exist in a vacuum all, all in and of itself. That it was the accumulation of over a thousand years of anti-Semitism that was brewing in Europe and ultimately led to the climax and the final solution that was the Holocaust. I just was providing that for context. The only other reason why I even had to go back to it is Detroit was trying to say that the Jews were flourishing prior to the Holocaust. So I had to defend that position and really provide some context of everything that happened prior uh, to then. The reason why I went a little bit... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mumbled out loud. I apologize. That's it's okay. Uh, the only the only reason why I also want I also went 200 years in the future is because and maybe I should have asked and had a round where I did a Q and A, but I wanted to really define what is a true black Holocaust. I mean, is it the transatlantic slave trade where the average rate was 5,000 blacks were killed per year in a 400 year span, or 10,000 uh, homicide rates of? Uh, stop. Yeah. All right. Man. Who's, thank you, thank you for your question. Oh, you got a I question? Can yeah, yeah, yeah. Silky ball. Yes. Let's go. Anybody uh, can ask a question. Um, um, you say that I'll the Jewish Holocaust at, at a span of year was concentrated. How many dead? That's the most recorded history in genocide in human history. But how can you put a number of uh, the black slavery? How many people died per year? So we don't know how many. How do you you choose the number five thousand compared to one year in uh, Jewish? Number two. How do you sure. know how the, the Zionist intention was not to take over uh, Palestine from the start, even if Jews uh, use excuses constantly? So the first well, part of your question. Two questions. Do you get two minutes? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't mind answering it. So All thanks right. You can answer one yes. question and then you'll get answer the second. Go. Yeah, so question. the first question was uh, in terms of yeah, how do we know? what the actual rate is. And by the way, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost hard to even pinpoint the exact number of black died because, you know, when you mm -hmm. take a look at the account of everything, did they die by uh, malnourishment? Did they die by mistreatment? Did they die from disease? Did they die of old age? And things of that doesn't nature. Matter. And sometimes it's hard to quantify. Yeah, it's hard to quantify. Absolutely, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the reason why I even brought up the number is that those are the only data that we have available in the sense that out of the 12.5 million uh, approximate uh, blacks that were that were part of the transatlantic slave trade. About two million of them didn't survive, right? So those are the numbers that I'm basing it off. Of course, those numbers can be a lot more. But either way, even if we're using the five thousand, that's a hundred x multiple five hundred thousand Jews that were slaughtered per year. The rate is astronomical. You can't even compare it. Let's say it was even ten times that, or even twenty times that. The, the rate in terms of the atrocity at, at which it was happening that we've never seen ever in terms of mass question. industrial. Yeah. And that's suicide. Uh, the second one was it was your second question. Did, was it a was it a conspiracy to, to actually get Palestine from the beginning? Was that your question? Yes, we see the result today. Okay. Now, I, second I mean, question dude, was how did you? That's not a know? long one. Yeah, that's okay. The second that's question okay. was the Palestine takeover. Well, yeah, I, that's okay, I, man. I, I, yeah. In that in that case, I need I need to find I have some sort of evidence, some sort of proof that there was Jews in the high command of the SS or of the or of the Reich Chancellery that were somehow conducting and manipulating all of these things, which is very very implausible because at the same time, as much as the Germans hated the Jews and barred them from everything, it's kind of hard to believe that they were somehow influencing them as well and being their puppet masters in order to generate a Holocaust just to get Palestine. 
Okay. I think it's Brittany. Any other questions? You're right, Nathan. You're yes, right. I do. I have a question. Um, I guess this kind of piggybacks on. I think Ritash, you asked this question, and um, when you wanted to talk about historically what happened with the Jewish uh, people, and then she uh, came up and asked you if you looked at um, being a Jew as a race or um, a religion. If I, I forgot, but I remember you said partially it is a race. And I just have a question to that. Are you aware of what the indigenous um, people look like in indigenous Jews? Indigenous what Jews? I like? mean, they, they probably most likely, I mean, if you're looking at the uh, first century Judea when the Roman expulsion ended up happening, most likely they look like Sephardic Jews of today or Masrachi Jews, most likely. Could you but they were definitely darker like skinned, 100%. They were darker skinned. Okay. Sure. I just, I don't know. I guess I, my, I guess the reason I asked you that question, I always just find that interesting. Um, when we look around at the indigenous culture, just around from Australia to Israel, um, what they all look like, and then it just kind of goes to your debate of, you know, what what happened, you know, this versus this, and then I, I guess I wouldn't have brought it up if you didn't kind of go back historically, and I'm like, sure. oh, okay, well, if, you know, historically. You know, they kind of looked a little different than they did during World War World War, War Two, and that was, of course, um, I think we all know why that's the case. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Am I in time? Can I respond? Good that question, mean? Brittany. You, but yeah. Is that an that's additional good. question? No. I had just a response, but I don't want to go over on time. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to just hog the time. What? What? You want to respond I to what you just said? Yeah, I, I have a small response. Okay. Uh, I'll make it. I'll make one minute. Go. Uh, just okay. I'll, I'll no, make it 15 seconds. Okay, cool, okay. cool. Yeah, no, the, the only thing I just wanted to respond in terms of like the Ashkenazi Jews, uh, aside yeah. from all DNA testing that has been done in terms of compiling Sephardic Jews, Mefraki Jews, and Ashkenazi Jews, they do have a similar mm -hmm. genome uh, that go back to the Middle East. The other thing you also kind of have to put into context is that it's been over 2,000 years of diaspora that the Jews have been spread out. So when they ended up in the shores of Italy, and then from Italy went to uh, the Rhineland, and then went west, and then after they got expelled from England, from France, from Spain, they started moving themselves eastward. You got to understand, mm -hmm. 2,000 years is generation after generation after generation after generation after generation after generation, after generation. Mm -hmm. we weren't also fornicating our sisters either right so there was a lot of people that could have obviously married in there was some genetic variety that was happening but at the end of the day what makes you as jew is that you're still a descendant of abraham right it's like it doesn't matter how much genetic variety we still all in in common have a great 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 grandfather abraham still makes you a jew but yeah i'm done I guess you can also say we kind of all are descended from Adam, too, if we kind of go back that far. Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Any more questions? I agree with you on that. Yeah, I got one more. Yeah, I think uh, Dal is the last one. What's up, Dal? You have a yeah. question here in the blue. What? No, uh, this this person here in front of me is shaking their head. They have a question. The gear? Get, get, get over there. Is that the right, best Detroit. you could... That adds to my point. <laughs> okay, uh, earlier in the debate, you brought up a list out of 40 million black uh, children aborted. Uh, uh, by uh, Planned Parenthood, yeah. I mean, it does vary because I've seen a lot of them when I was researching the topic. Um, I've, so some, some go from 13.5 million. Uh, it ranged between 13.5 to 40 million. So I didn't take the maximum, I'll be fair with that. Do you have a year when this started, like a general year? Uh, so some of them came from almost an old time since abortion started in America. The other ones were starting from the 1970s. Okay. Um, okay. Well, okay. I'm, I'm wondering what that had to do with any of it, but... The reason yes. why I brought it up in the first place is because I want us to define what the true black holocaust, not something that was happening even 200 years ago, but something that is still affecting us today and affecting the black community today. That's 40, let's just say it is 40 or even 13 million black babies that are not with us today that could have been added onto the black community as more manpower, more mind power, more culture value, more everything to strengthen up the black community. There's been a plateau of the black community for a little while because of ab the abortion rates. That's why Latinos well, and other marginal well, minority groups. Question. Well, now you're, you're debating question. with can me. I, and I, don't I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just, outside yeah. of that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, debating. I, I just wanted I to make that point. I would have very opposite opinions about what you said. It sounds like that can, would can I, support can I, can I or against your argument, though, because I would have very opposite opinions. That's an effective oppression. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hey, 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 we still, we're still in the debate, gentlemen.
So yes. is, are, are there are, are, are there any more questions for so Nathan? That's re- that's, that's, that wait, 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 wait. That's related to the debate topic now. But if okay. you got something, go ahead. But I'm just saying, you know. Go ahead, brother. I guess I was just asking him a question about. Listen to this motherfucker talk for another hour. Did shit. He know, did he know where? It, did he know? Did you know that Margaret Sanger started that? And do you know the reason why? Eugenics? Yeah, because of uh, do you eugenics. Know the back, do, you, do you know the foundation of eugenics in America? Uh, uh, yeah, I have to into a little bit. I mean, Planned Parenthood was a way to kind of control the birth rate within the black community, but I mean, that's just a very simple, I mean, that's a deep discussion. Once again, with Detroit, I, yeah, I do yeah. want to stay on topic, but okay. that is a conversation yeah. worth having, for sure. So you've, you've, you've researched a bit into that. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I've looked into it. Okay. Definitely. Just curious. Yeah. I mean, I'm against it. Any more questions? Any more? Is that it? Nope. All right, um, that's it. Oh, you, you got a question? What do you mean by recording in progress? Oh, don't worry about exactly it. Exactly what it says. You, 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 you won't have to worry about it, brother. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. <laughs> whoever you, um, we're, just to be clear, it's not about who you agree with personally, who you disagree with personally who your politics align with, who they don't align with. Whoever made the more compelling argument, line up behind them and let's vote. What if you are... Uh, if you're undecided, you stand in the undecided. middle. Like behind Dollar Bill? No, I'm moving over here. I'll put some things over the debate. That's it. Zod, you know. Ron, Ron just got I here. In, I came. I came in late. I missed the whole thing. And forever, he ain't got his hat on, so he don't count. So that's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So shit. Ma, what you doing? I I'm abstaining. Well, then you need to be. You can't abstain. You were part of it. You asked the question. Well, I mean, you participated. I, I, I get it, but I, I think both sides had, had good points. I haven't well, made a decision. That's why, said, that's that's why, why we're we in said the we're undecided. You? That's why we're in the middle. Oh, really? Okay, so, so Are you okay. Really that old? Damn. <laughs> okay. Not really that weak. Go to his side. Go to okay. his side if you thought he won. If you thought he won, you, you think he won, I'm sure. Yeah. We good? I, I don't think Detroit's going to hold it against you, Ritesh, if that's the case, but it's all okay. Who, me? Yeah, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay, so... I think so, the two people in the middle need to be questioned. Is well... <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. because uh, how many... You want, why had you so confused? Well, me, we're, either not way, even if we're, we're not counting yeah. forever because... Forever yeah, he ain't got his hat on. He took his, his hat off. Okay, so it appears you got one vote. I got three votes. I got four votes. And undecided it's has three. So I win, but I just barely beat undecided. If, un- if, if, it, was, if, it, was, if it was tied with a, if, if undecided had more votes, it would have been undecided in a draw. But I win because I, I got more than undecided. And hell. What about you? Is Black Hat here with the glasses? Is Who's Black Hat? On underhand? Right here. Right here. But he did, did you, who, who is this guy? I think who the fuck are you talking about? Zod, Zod, Zod didn't, um... He's on Silky? Hmm? Me? Zod Have didn't you vote. Been here the whole time? Yeah, yeah he Zod took his head. He Zod. voted. Zod is on a nod right now. <clears throat> See? All right, so that's contest. Hey, hey Nathan. You, you got so close because yeah, you got so many goddamn questions. Yeah, yeah, Nathan, you did a really good, a good job. Debate, though. I, I mean, it was a yeah, really but good debate. Either way, it was a great debate. But he he that had like another it. two rounds of questions in order to add to his fucking argument. Yeah. I'm sitting here, I'm sitting over here, like, God damn it, somebody asked me a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, uh, DMC. First off, I want to thank you. Thank you for moderating you the choice. Thank you for hosting. <laughs> And, hey, Nathan. Uh, being a good opponent, <laughs> Nathan, well, I just want you to know that when Detroit does this, this is the 